In this video, we will discuss about diversity of gymnosperms. Gymnosperms are plants which bear seeds. So they are seed bearing plants, but their seeds, they are not enclosed in the ovary wall. So seeds, they are naked because they bear seeds. So they are also called as spermatophytes, but their seeds, they are not protected by the ovary wall like in angiosperms. So they have naked seeds. Uh, these gymnosperms, they are mostly found in the Paleozoic and Mesozoic era of the geological time scale. And some of its members are of, have also become fossils, mean they have become extinct. Gymnosperms do not bear flowers. They reproduce by formation of male cone and female cone, also called as strobili, male strobili and female strobili. So how much they are diverse on the earth? How many types of gymnosperms they are present on the earth? This is called as diversity of the gymnosperm. Now, gym, gymnospermic plant, they can grow on habitat, uh, which is deficient in water, uh, xerophytic habitat. So they are mostly xerophyte in nature. Now, if we see plants of gymnosperm, like this is the pinus plant, uh, which has male cones in clusters. So this is one male cone and these are different male cones which are present in cluster. So this reproduces by ma male, male cone is a production of the pollen grain and these are its needle shaped leaves. And this is the female cone of finest. These are different female cone of finest. Here we can see megasporophylls they are compactly arranged and here they have opened up and they will be seeds will be present over here and they will be dispersed from the female cone of finest. These have been discussed in the previous videos and link will be shared in the description box. And this is the megasporophyll of cycus. This is another plant of gymnosperm from cycus. This part is its female part and this bear ovule over here which ripen to form seed and these are the seeds of the cycus. They are lying naked on the megasporophyll and they will be dispersed easily from the megasporophyll of cycus. Uh, usually gymnospermic plant they do not grow very fast they grow very slowly so they're slow growing plant about thousand living genera of gymnosperms they are found uh, some of the species have become extinct or fossils they evolved about 365 million years ago and they were predominant on earth about 245 to 65 million years ago if we see gymnosperm they have been divided into four groups cycadophyta zingophyta Netophyta and Pinophyta or Coniferophyta and the era of the geological time scale which was predominant by gymnosperm is also called as age of gymnosperm that was Mesozoic era. बहुत सारे gymnosperm उस time पे थे तो क्योंकि वो यही एक predominant vegetation थी तो इसलिए इसको क्यों बोलते हैं age of the gymnospermic plant. Now we'll discuss in detail one by one Cycadophyta. This includes cycads. Order Cycadales. They were present about 280 million years ago and their leaves, they are palm like, fern like features. They, they have pinnate leaves with sarcinate venation. Male plant is different, female plant is different, so dioecious condition. We can see here palmately uh, leaves of the pinnately compound leaves of the cycus. This is the stem and he, here leaves they are arising like this. If we see one leaf of this, this is like this. This part is petiole and this is the rakish and these are the leaflets. Uh, leaflets, they are quite thick and leathery in nature. At the base of the cycus, we can see these are bulbils which help in its vegetative propagation. And this is again cycus plant and uh, this is showing origin of the young leaves. So these are mature leaves and this part in the center, young leaves, they are arising. Later on, they will spread up to form the proper leaves like mature leaves. Another example is of Zamia. Zamia floridana. This occurs in US. Uh, this has attractive palm like leaves. This can be grown as ornamental plant which is ornamental plant which increase the beauty of the surrounding. They are good to look at. So this is the Zamia plant and we can see closely here Zamia plant thick leathery leaves, uh, palmately leaves and this is the cone of the Zamia which help in its reproduction. Next is Zingophyta. This includes Zingos. And they were present about 225 million years ago. This includes Zingo biloba. This is also called as maiden hair tree. So this is an ornamental plant. This again increases the beauty of the surrounding. Plant is dioecious. This can be grown as a park specimen or street tree. So this is the only living genera, also called as living fossil. Zingo biloba is the only living genera of Zingophyta. So this is called as living fossil. 
you can see here this is a zingo biloba plant main stem and these are its leaves and here we can see closely leaves i've uh, drawn diagram of leaf also we can compare the leaves right so this is present like this and if we see it's a venation part like vein is going and this is bifurcating like this and this bifurcation is not closing this is open type so this is open dichotomous venation present in the uh, zingo leaves fan shaped leaves extinct genera of zingo whales are boera zingoitis spotia stephanophyllum windwardia trichopetias next is netophyta it has order knee tails and this is the advanced order of the gymnospermic plant this includes genera velvetia netum and ephedra why it is called as advanced genera or advanced order uh, because mostly in gymnosperms if we see the vascular tissue xylem that is having tracheids but in netum or in knee tail this is made up of more of the vessels less of the tracheid and more of the vessel and this character resemble with the angiosperms angiospermic plants they have 95 percent vessels so origin of vessels occur in the knee tails so that's why it is called as advanced order of the gymnospermic plant so velvetia netum and ephedra if we see the ephedra this is called as mormon tea this is found in western united states so we can see here this is the ephedra plant which is present in the form of bush main plant body is porophyte and this is its main stem and these are its branches if you see the main stem this is green in color this is divided into nodes and internodes at the node are present scale leaves like this so this this uh, gives its jointed appearance so this is called as a jointed fur so main stem carries out the function of the photosynthesis this turns green in color next example is velvetia which is found in coastal desert in south africa then netum which has angiosperm like characteristics like we discussed it has vessels as a vascular tissue another example is coniferophyta or conifers or pinophyta uh, this includes pinus spruces and firs and this have been from late carboniferous period about 290 million year ago coniferophyta includes seven families pinaceae taxodiaceae uh, cupressaceae arocariaceae podocarpaceae cephalotaxaceae and taxaceae now conifers they have conical trees they are evergreen and their leaves they are needle shaped which will help in reducing the rate of transpiration also uh, pinus firs cypress and arocaria conifers they are most diverse ecologically they are most adapted on the earth now pinus again uh, pines they are example of pinaceae family about 10 genera of pinaceae family are there so we can see here this is pinus roxburghi and these are this is its main stem and this is these are its branches and we can see needle shaped leaves these are needle shaped leaves next is arocaria monkey puzzle tree belongs to family arocariaceae so we can see here this is arocaria this is its main stem oldest branches are present at the base and youngest are present at the tip so this is monkey puzzle tree or arocaria belongs to family arocariaceae next family is taxodiaceae this includes sequoias, taxodiums, metasequoia, sequodendron, sequojigantia, which is about uh, 4,000 to 5,000 year old, metasequoia, giant sequoia, this is called as sequodendron gigantium, quite tall. So this is tallest, widest and largest or longest lived, living organism on the earth. So this tree is very tall hote hai, and its girth is also more and its age is also more. Next is about uh, Cupressaceae. This include Cupressis. Uh, this is largest family of the conifers. Uh, again, it includes evergreen trees, which are conical trees, small size tree, Cupressis, Thuja, and Juniper. Plant may also be present in the form of shrubs. So this is the Cupressis plant. Its leaves are hard, hai, spiny, hai. Uh, green color. Ka hota hai. Abhi jase summer ki it's like a dull green color otherwise this is dark green in color then this is thuja leaves are less spiny they're spirally arranged and this is juniperus you can see here this is juniperus 
and this can grow in soil in pots this is also grown as ornamental plant thuja is also grown as ornamental plant the next is family podo carpaceae uh, this is again a conifer this includes seven genera Podocarpus is important genre. This is found in mountain forest of warm temperate and subtropical regions of southern hemisphere. Uh, this includes small to medium sized evergreen tree and its leaves they are strap shape, not scale like they are strap shape. Next genre of Podocarpaceae are Decridium and Philocladia which are found in New Zealand and Tasmania. Decridium include evergreen trees or shrubs and Philocladia has mostly shoots which are which become photosynthetic in nature so these shoots which become photosynthetic in nature are also called as philoclades or cladodes that's why its name is philocladia now the next example is a family cephalotaxaceae again of conifer coniferous type cephalotaxin which is found in this is its genre this is found in eastern asia eastern himalayas and japan in subtropical forest this is also called as cow tail pine uh, plant is present in the form of evergreen shrub or tree. Uh, this is this can be monoecious or dioecious. If male and female cones they are born on the same plant, this is monoecious. If they are born on different plant, this is called as dioecious. So this is all about diversity of gymnosperm. Uh, if you have any question, you can ask me in the comment box. If you like my video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching my video.